look at you and say, ooh, you dirty, you unclean. But even in your unclean state, even in your dirty state, he still will bless you. He still will hug you. He won't act so important that when you walk in the room, he act like he don't see you. But he'll call your name and say, don't sit back there, but sit up here. I want to tell you. And if you talk to her about him that way, and I'm really talking real. I'm not pretending. I'm not putting two on the team. I'm not over-exaggerating. He's really that good. If you ever tasted and seen woo, you would say the Lord is really good. And when the world hears us promoting him that way, I say, but who is this man? Who is this man that while you're going through a storm, you're still laughing? I know what you're going through. Are you still preaching? Who is this man that as you give up, get up on early Sunday morning after you done worked all week tired and, and worked the nine to five and you could be sitting in your bed asleep or going to Denny's to get you a good breakfast, but, but you done got dressed and rolled out of your bed and, and went to the house of God to talk about a man that lived over 2,000 years ago. Who's worth all of that? Who's worth all of your time when you pray re uh, religiously to him? You study your Bible. You, you gave your life to him. Who's worth all of that? Yes, sir. And you'll tell him who he is. You'll make him famous. You'll make him popular. The church has to become more vocal. That's right. Ooh, and preach, more preach visible. That's right. We have to be more visible and more vocal. Yes. Enough with us just having a closet religion. Enough with us just having a building religion. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But God really is so good. He's to transcend this little facility. Come on now. I'm sorry. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Because right, right, right. he's really that good. Who can tell? I mean, he's really that good. Good. Good God Almighty. He gives you blessings and don't add sorrow with it. Come on. You know, you know, the world gives you blessings, but they give you sorrow with it. You, 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 have to, you have to make sure you scratch his back for him to continue mm. to keep him by. Yeah. Come on, come on. Or if you're getting it illegal, you have to constantly look over your shoulder and hope right. that you don't get caught. It, it gives you blessings, it gives you stuff, but, yes. but it adds sorrow to your yes. life. God is the only one that will bless you and add no sorrow. You can get in your car, roll up the window, turn the AC in, and you ain't got to worry about who's following you. Who cares if the police is tapping my phone? I ain't doing nothing wrong no way. All they gonna hear is me testifying to God is. I want you to tap my phone. I want you to listen. I want to tell you about it. I'm gonna end with this. Come on. There was a man that Jesus healed in the Bible. Come on now. And this man was blind from birth, the Bible tells us. It's in the book of John 9, if you want to read the story. This man was blind from birth. And Jesus healed him. Yes, yes. It was the Sabbath day. And according to the Jews, and Jesus, he, he mixed some mud up with some spittle. <laughs> and he placed it on this man's eyes. And he told this man to go dip in the pool of Shalom. And because it was their traditional custom... Uh, that on the Sabbath day, they are not to do anything. Mm -hmm. no, healing. no healing or nothing. No miracles on the Sabbath day. That is, to me, is foolish. <laughs> <laughs> you want nothing. Now, physical stuff, you have a supernatural stuff, we should always want, right? That's right. That they pulled this man into the synagogue. Mm -hmm. And said, how did you get healed? And the man said, well, the man named Jesus, he healed me. They said, Jesus, how did he heal you? And he said, well, he, he, he made mud. Right, right. And he placed it on my... You telling me he worked on the Sabbath day? Right. How dare he do that? Wow. <laughs> Look at their traditions making boxing God in. Hmm. They said, well, yeah, he healed me. And they said, well, call his mama sure did. and his daddy. He sure did. 
And the mom and daddy came and they said, ain't this yes. your son? They said, yeah, mm -hmm. that's our son. They said, wasn't he blind from birth? They said, yeah, he was blind from birth. <laughs> <laughs> but the Bible tells us that the mom and daddy knew if anybody professed Jesus to be something, that they would be put out of the synagogue. So they said, well, how did he come here? The mom and daddy said, well, hey, you know what? He's of age now. <laughs> He's grown. <laughs> Let him talk for himself. <laughs> this is the story. It is. It is. And so they went back to the man. They said, you telling me that this sinner healed you? The man said, well, let me tell you this. I don't know who he is. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know if he is a sinner or not. All I do know is that I was blind. <laughs> no, no, no. And that man touched me. Yes. Sir. And now I can see. see. Yes. So, so when they ask you, who is Jesus? Right, right. Is he the Messiah? Right. Is he the Son of God? Uh, uh, who is he? Is he the kinsman redeemer? Is he the the Lamb of God? Is he the wheel in the middle of a way? Is he, are y'all with me? You, you may not know all of that, and that's okay. You, you may not know Greek and Hebrew. You may not know the Torah. You may not know the Mosaic law, and that's okay. But, but all you have to do is tell him what he did. All, right, all I know, whether you call him a prophet or not, yes, yes. whether you call him a sinner or not, yes, yes. whether he was just a good man or not, yes. all I know is that I was facing 25 years to life Woo! for a crime I committed Come on, that I called on the name of Jesus Hallelujah! and in three months he opened the jail cell and I walked out. I call him a deliverer. I call him a way maker. Yeah. You may call him the sick man. Yeah. Yeah. You may call him a provider. Yeah. You may call him a hand raiser. Yeah. You may call him a joy keeper. Yeah. You may call him a mother when your mother yeah. is and a father when your father is. Yeah. I'm not going to get in all that uh, religiosity with you, but all I know is that I once was blind. Now I see. And now I see. Yesterday, mm, a lady was talking about this new religion out in our community, the black Hebrews and God and all that. And I, and I tried to explain it to her. <laughs> but I said, you know what? This is getting us nowhere. That's right. Let me tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> that I was a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Convict, kind of. That's all I know. Gangster. That's all I know. <laughs> and now it's Saturday morning. And I'm knocking on your door talking about a man named Jesus. Yes, right. It transcends all the right. books and, uh, and the religious rituals and all the laws. And it's personal. It's personal. It's real. And that's all people need to hear. Is that he's real to you. Wow. Just tell them who he is to you. You may not be a well speaker. You you may not know all the scriptures. But you do know what he did for you. Yes, you do. Amen. 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 And that's all the world needs to hear. That's all your critics need to hear. And after Peter told what Jesus did and said they accepted it and they all went away. Let's give God a hand. Amen.